Hi, welcome to a quick tutorial um, to be able to create macros inside Swift for switching bikes. It um, assumes you've got Swift up and running in the background, such as I have here, and also that you've got Pullover Macro Creator installed and Auto Hotkey installed. Now, when you launch Pullover Macro Creator, it will come up with a toolbar and a working window. What we want to do, make sure, is to make sure that um, you're not going to capture uh, mouse moves. So we deselect those mouse moves in Pullover Macro Creator here. And then what we're going to do effectively is um, um, click on the main Swift window and then we're going to start recording the first macro. Now we're going to record two macros, switch two bikes, but you can do as many bikes as you like and as many macros as you like. And we're going to create an executable um, that we can then uh, sit on the taskbar during the game. Now first of all what we're going to do is click on record. This, and then we're going to initiate um, T on the keyboard. We're going to switch bikes, in this case a steel bike and a carbon bike, and click on done. And then we're going to stop the record. That will create the first macro script. Um, click here and you'll see that effectively that once we've activated the window, we've got um, a slight pause before we start clicking. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the pauses. We're going to reduce that to 150 milliseconds to speed up the macro. And then we're going to reduce the in pauses inside the game. Um, we don't need the first two clicks and the first pause um, we're going to wait, go straight in for the T action and then we're going to remove every pause that has also been captured in our slow movement. This allows us to speed up the macro very effectively. And then go to edit the macro name. So I think I gave it a carbon bike with um, 32. Oh no, it's still bike with 32, I apologise and we assign an F key or any hot key uh, associated on your keyboard. Make sure you don't, of course, assign the same key as a Swift pre-configured key. That matters to you. Right, click on OK, click on OK again. Now what we're going to do is click on the Swift window again, and we're going to create a second macro. This time we're going to press the plus record button here. We're going to hit T again. We're going to click, select carbon bike and 202 wheels. Of course, if you've got other bikes, you can select those. Click on the Done button, and then we're going to stop the recording. Again, we're going to look at the recording macro. You'll see here the first macro recorded, second one. We can assign that again to a different function key or hot key. Um, what we're going to do here is to reduce the first pause to 150 milliseconds, and then we're going to reduce all the other pauses to speed up the macro, leaving the last one intact. Now I'm going to edit that to carbon 202, just so that I know and it's got an F4 key there. If you want to, we can change that to F3 or whatever we want. I'll leave them as F2 and F4 as an example. Click on OK. I'm going to save the file um, inside the macros folder and I'm going to name that um, effectively to be the um, steel and carbon bike. Okay. We're then going to export. Sorry, file export. We're going to make sure that we've got exit button ticked and we're going to also make sure that the speed of the macro is selected the fastest. We're going to click on export. File is now successfully exported. Um, you'll see the assigned F keys to those two bikes up here. We're going to close that, and then we're going to exit Pullover Macro. Now inside um, inside the macros, you will have seen effectively that it will have created these three files. The executable being the one we want to launch. We launch the executable, go back to Swift. Now if you press F2, you'll see one bike selected. If you press F4, you'll see the other bike selected. Now of course you can select as many bikes as you want against as many F keys um, accordingly. Okay, that successfully allows you to switch bikes. Thanks.